Hello and welcome. We're at the Swift African Regional Conference in Accra in Ghana. And I'm with Kevin Rudahinduka, who's the Transformation Program Director for the Bank of Kigali. And Kevin, uh, this, this conference is very much about transformation and change. And you're doing both of those things at the Bank of Kigali. So, so yes. give us a bit of a flavor for what you're doing there. As a bank that has been on the market for the last 51 years, you tend to pick up a certain culture along the way and uh, eventually it reaches a stage and say, you know, you need to be able to change this uh, culture. And with the whole millennials and the information moving so fast, uh, the patients, everyone wants, as fast as the information is moving, the faster the decisions can be made. So if I'm applying for a loan, I need the loan now, not like in the past where it took some couple of days or, or weeks. And so that's the whole journey about the transformation. And if we, and we look at the whole part of the transformation with the people, uh, it has to look at the processes, it has to look at the systems, it has to look at the vendors, it has to look at your partners. How readily are they ready to be able to support you to move into that journey? All right, now to make this work, you've got to get buy-in from everybody, right from the board, right down to the most junior member of staff. So how, how do you do that? But the biggest change first that really needs to start, do you have the people in the board that actually supports the transformation, that are digital service, that have actually been some of this, because it has to start from there, and then trickles along the way. And some of this is basically bringing in also new uh, new, ch new people or new people in the system. And, so and presumably retraining some of the old people, yeah. Retraining, uh, it's, that one is inevitable, it has to always happen, but at the same time, you know, having a mix of of the younger generation who've tried things who are, you know, it's, it's fail fast. You, re, you want to try things, fail very fast, and correct them along the way. It's like, it's like right. fixing an aeroplane uh, while in midair. <laughs> mid so that's very different from how it, a bank used to work, isn't it? Where you would have a long project with a long lead time, and you do all the work on it, um, and it was only sort of two years later you found out whether it was really working or not. This is a very different kind of approach, isn't it? Oh, you find at the end of the, that period that... The market has changed. The market has changed because it's really changing very fast. And so you're forced to actually now, instead of trying to come up with 10 needs or 20 needs, you actually take those needs and splice them and say, okay, what's the immediate need that the customers need? And you just work on that and try to deliver it in you know, maybe even two weeks yeah. and then you move on. But that changes the whole fundamental foundations that we work on, the systems have to be ready to work there, the policies, the procedures, you know, the people, we need to be able to adapt. How quickly can you be able to come up with a service and add it and put it in production? And of course, it. just like your people, obviously your customers also fall into more than one group, and some of them are young and, 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 and energetic and want to go with the latest tech, and some want to bank in the traditional way. So how do you keep them all happy? Well, the one with the traditional that is easy, they will not complain. But with the newer generations, like some of us or the young ones, we will, you know, take our complaints to the media, social, you know, social media, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you're dealing yeah. with a reputation risk. So you can't afford to say that my huge market is more of the traditional, you know, customers versus the you new. Know, so you, you actually need to stay ahead and cover, all, you know, the various segment, depending which uh, industry you're in, like for us, we're into universal banking. So we have to make sure we cater for the retail, for the corporates, and, and keep up the trend. It's, it's demanding, it's, it's a lot of uh, energy to uh, our workforce, but we have to adapt very quick, and we have, to, we have no choice. And is all the innovation coming from your own teams within the bank, or do you go outside and use fintechs or consultants? Our priority and our strategy is to try to build as much uh, in-house as much as possible. But again, if you've been 99 point something relying on the vendors, you can't just all of a sudden drop. So it's a gradual shift uh, to try and move into that direction. So you get tend to work with the fintechs or to, uh, with the likes of some of the vendors who are you know, would like, like uh, partners. They get to be embedded within our teams and solve the problems like a, norm, a normal internal staff would actually solve them, which is also at the same time a way of uh, bridging up the gap and equipping you know, our, our current resources to be able to uh, meet the demands. And how about digital transformation in Rwanda in general? I mean, uh, are you leading the way or is it competitive or what's the situation? We are leading the way, um, but generally from an economy point of view, we, we have more, I think the government is a lot more ahead 
than the, you know, the private sector. Uh, putting a lot more push, uh, you know, to go uh, cashless, for instance, you know, to do a lot of things uh, digitally. And it questions uh, everything about how we do banking uh, or how we want to offer the services because the government is quick. They want things very fast. So if the government also wants things very fast, then you're forced to actually try to put them fast as you can. And it's better to actually be ahead of the government because uh, when the need comes from the government, the timelines are very short, they're very tight. So as Rwanda, our coverage is very good when it comes to internet. The smartphone penetration is, go is growing, which creates the, uh, you know, the need to invest in some of uh, these technologies because now you'll have more younger generation coming you know, to bank or, you know, coming into banking and they're like, no, uh, I don't think this is the bank I want to be in. I, I want my bank to behave like the way I behave on Twitter or Facebook or, because yeah. everything is all about a click. Okay. You know, today I can talk to my, you know, messenger and say, check my balance and it will check my balance. So why can't my bank act that way? So those are the, all the changes that we have to uh, shift into and uh, it has to happen very fast. Kevin, it sounds very exciting. Thank you very much it for sharing. It is exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure being here.